Hi, Movie Explorer here. Today I am going to explain the 2014 sci-fi short film called The Real Evidence Laptop. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie begins with a montage of an office where many employees are busy in their respective works. Some are writing scraps on paper while others are working on their laptops. One guy with glasses is also working on his laptop when his eyes suddenly see something on the wall near him. He finds it very unusual and keeps on looking at his laptop and the wall, in back and forth motion. Astonishingly, the cursor of the laptop mouse is seen hovering on the wall, out of his laptop screen. The guy does not believe his eyes and when he moves his fingers over the laptop touchpad the cursor on the wall moves. Seeing this, he becomes excited as he has a smirk on his face. Then, he looks around to check if any of his colleagues are seeing it. The guy thinks of an idea to test if the mouse cursor has real impacts on the physical environment. He drags the cursor down from the wall by controlling the movement through the touchpad. He then points to the paper cup on his table and taps the button in the touchpad. As he does this, the paper cup falls, and the tea spills all over the table. It catches the attention of his colleagues. As they look at him, he apologizes and acts like he is cleaning the table. After this successful trial with the paper cup, he becomes happy. The guy then looks around and finds another thing to experiment with the cursor. He notices a letter on his table and drags the arrow towards it. As he hovers it around the letter, the pointer changes to eye cursor as it comes to text. The letter is about the request to deduct the penalty for being late to work. The guy clicks the cursor to it, deletes the sentences, writes his boss is a jerk and asks to add compensation to his monthly fee. After doing this, he takes the letter in his hand and starts laughing at it. As his laugh becomes audible, he finds it disturbing to the colleagues and stops at once awkwardly. He then looks over the letter and smiles. Following his experiments in the room, the guy heads out, along with the mysterious laptop in his hand. As he strides into the hallway, he sees a beautiful girl working in the next room. He sits on the chair in front of her room from where he can see her. He then pretends to work on the laptop but starts peeping at her secretly. The guy slowly takes the cursor out from the laptop, down the table towards the room. While he drags it up her table, she turns forward to see her papers and the guy gets his eyes on her skirt. The devious guy then directs the mouse cursor inside her dress and clicks the pad. As he does so, the woman gasps in surprise. She feels something down below and breathes slowly. The guy starts rubbing the mouse pad and peeps to see her reaction. The girl begins breathing heavily and loses control of her body. She starts moaning after feeling highly erotic as the guy speeds his rubbing action on the mouse pad. She soon rushes to the bathroom while the guy smiles. What a simp! After his shenanigans inside the office, the guy heads out to his friend, who is talking to two women. He asks his friend to come to him because he has an emergency secret to share. They go to a rooftop and the guy demonstrates what he has discovered by editing the board written as Northern Credit Bank into noobs, clowns, and bastards. The friend gets freaked out and asks him to do something to a nearby parked car. The guy opens the program and starts reducing the size of the car until it shrinks into a toy. The friend gets super excited and tells him that he cannot believe what he has found. He adds that it gives them unlimited opportunities, and they can do anything with it. As his friend continues blabbering, the guy copies a wall of a house and pastes it upon a window to close it with the wall. Seeing this, the friend explains that if they can open any program and make it work like that in the real world, they can do everything. He exclaims it to be a teleportation device. At this point, the guy has started looking at his friend with uneasy looks. The friend shares that they can go to a bank and blackmail the manager into giving them money, with the threat of destroying the building. He further adds that after getting the money, they will destroy the building anyways so that the manager cannot tell anyone. After hearing him, the guy has a weird look on his face which implies that he doesn't like his friend's idea. Down in the ground, the car's owner returns and doesn't find his car. However, when he looks down, he is shocked to see a small toy similar to his car in the spot where he parked. Meanwhile, the friend gets further ambitious that they can do anything and no one can stop them. He shares that they can reach anyone, and all the criminals, politicians and policemen will obey their orders. The guy now starts getting frightened and looks over the laptop. He clicks on the select icon and moves the mouse cursor to frame the friend's body. 
The friend is unknown and keeps saying that if anyone comes to attack them, they will erase them and solve the problem. The deranged friend even talks about removing the army by pressing delete. The guy gets taken aback while his friend sounds like a bomb while demonstrating about wiping the army. As the friend faces the guy and raises his hand to talk, he presses Ctrl plus X keys on the keyboard, which commands to cut the selected object. As he does so, the friend's hand gets out of the selection area of the cursor, and it detaches from the body while the body vanishes. The guy gets horrified and sees the event without his eyes blinking, and hands held high. The severed hand falls on top of a car in the ground with blood spilling out of it. As the hand thuds and the car starts beeping, the guy snaps out of the horror. People immediately gather around the vehicle and start panicking upon seeing the hand and blood. They yell to call the police and the ambulance as the guy looks down the roof. Suddenly, the crowd looks at him and tells him that he is in trouble for what he has done. They start calling him crazy and threaten to call the police. They also repeatedly ask him to get down from the roof. Upon hearing people screaming at him, the guy starts panicking. He holds his laptop and opens a program. The guy then looks down to the ground and selects the entire area, including the gathered people and the car. As the crowd shouts at him, he presses the cut command, and the mass, car, hand, and blood disappear instantly. The guy looks for them on all sides and gets surprised himself. As he becomes breathless, he folds his laptop and realizes what he has done. After wreaking havoc in his workplace, the guy hits the road and starts moving ahead. He has his bag to his side, and the laptop held to his hand. As he walks, he looks in a hurry and continues seeing back and forth. Soon, a car comes from the opposite direction. The guy shows his hand and asks to stop the vehicle. He tells the driver that he wants to go to the Kremlin with urgency. The driver denies him and tells him that the traffic is awful there and they will get stuck for a long time. The guy pleads that he will provide the driver with any money he demands, but he drives away with an apology. As the driver moves ahead, the guy tries opening his laptop. He soon closes it as the vehicle goes out of his sight. In the final scene, the guy keeps walking forward and approaches a large building. As he looks here and there, he discovers a large mouse arrow hovering in the building wall. He gets frightened and looks on all sides to find nothing. As he tries to move ahead, he sees the cursor arrow on the road, pointing towards him. The guy starts panting and gets worried. As he slowly takes some step back, the cursor moves towards him and covers him totally. As he looks towards the sky, the cursor clicks and he is squashed on the ground, and blood is splattered all over. This suggests that someone else possesses the magical power too. After finishing him off, the cursor starts moving and goes out of frame. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.